Hello, we are Sam Kirsten and Kata from Dragon Dance Theatre. We are living and working artists, and furthermore, we are artists as witness. This is a project that we initiated under Dragon Dance Theatre. We were concerned about what was going on related to the migrant and uh, refugee crisis in the world. We felt like, as artists, it was important for us to go and see and witness what was going on out there. Our objective this time was to go on the island of Lesbos in Greece, where in 2015, almost 800,000 refugees and migrants arrived. They were mostly coming from the Middle East, and some of them are from Africa. As soon as we arrived in Athens, flying direct Montreal to Athens, we realized that there was a big community of refugees living on Pier 1 at the port in Piraeus. And we made our way down there on foot and were taken completely by the amazing contrast since Piraeus is one of the most important tourist part ports in Europe these very gorgeous luxury liners loaded with the richest of tourists were passing by Pier 1 where there were 3,000 refugees living in little pop-up tents with very little water and very little sanitation and very little food and they were in a desperate situation there. And we went on one of those ships to the island of Lesbos. We made arrangements to go and stay for two months, and we picked uh, an area where the boats land. And so we first started by meeting with some local volunteers, and we uh, spent a week sort of helping out with one of their projects. Through them, we were able to go to the refugee camps and propose some of our projects, which was to make mask, uh, mask making projects inside the refugee camps. Well, uh, we also became involved with the Scala Sikamania, which was a fisherman's village along the north coast of Lesbos, which had a tradition of receiving refugees and had the experience because of the fishing boats going out into the Straits of Mytilene where the refugee rafts were crossing from Turkey of encountering the refugees at sea and having to rescue them. So usually this was one or two men on a not very large fishing boat who went out to sea to fish but then encountered a, a raft that was in distress with perhaps 30 people aboard or 16 people aboard who really required a rescue. They were having to deal with drowned people and with lost people and with homeless people and with destitute people and people who were really in, in great distress. We had uh, planned a collaboration with the, the University of Thessaloniki, the arts department there. So after two months that we had been uh, giving workshops, uh, speaking with local people, integrating our life with them, every night the, of those days, we were also sketching. Sam was sketching, making images of what we were going through, what we were being told, the stories that the refugees told us. The refugees must cross into Greece in these rubber rafts, even though there is a perfectly good transportation system that provides daily transportation to and from Turkey for any number of people at a very reasonable price of 10 euros. These refugees having to deal with the, the criminal element or with the mafiosos are paying 700, maybe 1,000 euros for a seat in this very risky raft, which is crossing the same body of water with people running, the operator of the raft has no idea where he's going even, has never been at, sh at sea before, knows nothing about ships or about his raft or how to save the people he's with or even where he's going. So in this picture, we try and depict that strange conflict between the reality for the tourist and the reality for the refugee. So this exhibit that's here at City Center, um, b starting now in the middle of May, early May until the 
first week of June, is a collection of 20 images that of what we lived and what we experienced during those two months. Our project for this year, we hope, it's in, currently in development, is that we would like to go on one of the re search and rescue ships that are in the Mediterranean in the south of Italy. And these are boats that are coming from Libya. So it's a much, even much more dangerous journey. There are a lot of people who are drowning. Uh, they were, there were weekly drownings where we were you know, on Lesbos as well when they were crossing from Turkey. So that's the next phase of the project, which will happen September, October 2017. Our project was called Artist as Witness, and we did witness, and we made these pictures as testimonies. Well, I'd refer to another picture, the, the Virgin of Sycamania. The interesting thing here, that, and I think why the Virgin has become a, a folkloric figure here, is because this is the right place to cross. Of, to, in order to get from uh, the Middle East or from Africa into Europe, the safest place to cross is the Straits of Mytilene. And in a sense, the refugees find when they do succeed, and they are often in desperate sh straits out there, the weather's awful and the sea can be rough and there's something that saves them. And we, we imagine that to be the virgin of, uh, of Sycamania. And perhaps it is, but also perhaps that virgin is uh, manifested in the whole physical situation and the whole physical situation of the Mediterranean as well. And it is possible to cross here. And people have come here for centuries to cross from the Middle East into Europe. And I think that's why we see so much history in these tiny pictures.